Hey everyone! Wait, you're looking up there. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, it's down there. Hey, Wait, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone! It's Afton Lee. Welcome back to my channel. This is my mom, Sharon. Hi guys. And I'm going to start a little series where we are going to show you my mom's crafts and her decorations and her DIY. So right now it is February and we are going to look at mom's Valentine's Day decorations. Yes, now I could have done Groundhog's Day because we are close to Punxsutawney, but we skipped right over that holiday. So for Val Punxsutawney does have that day off. They do. They don't mm -hmm. even have to go to school on Groundhog's Day yeah. and Punxsutawney. It's bananas lucky. But all I do for Valentine's Day is the area above my piano. So it's right over here. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is the piano. Um, I try to do things inexpensively. I try to do a lot of DIYs and I keep things. Um, Fortunately, I have, I'm an empty nester. I don't have kids at home, so I use old bedrooms and old closets and the basement for all my crafting supplies and every holiday. But this obviously is all about love. And all I did was go outside and everybody has seen these, I'm sure. Um, picked one of my better looking uh, twigs and these little hearts have been around forever. I think they were my mom's in the 80s and before she got rid of them I said oh no I need that. And then I have lovers on the um, piano. I have me and my husband. This was probably about 10 years ago and this was at my brother's wedding where my three daughters, this is Afton, um, Lindsay and Jane where they were flower girls and we have a couple more lovers. Here is my husband and I at our wedding day in 1995. Aww. And here's Afton and her fiance, Kirby. And finally, my mom and dad taken probably around 1965 because that's when they got married. A little dark, maybe we can take another picture later. Anyways, so all I did were some simple things. Um, I got this plate from Lindsay and I just put it there as a catch-all for my work keys. And the little X and O came from Walmart. They have those little remnants you can buy in the four pack. So I covered them in two different fabrics, threw that up there. I made that, I got inspired by somebody else on YouTube, but I did make this little tree with little hearts instead of leaves, because none of the trees have leaves right now. But my favorite thing on the piano is the little pom-pom swag. Easy to make. I have to tell you about this. Um, this is from Clover. It's a pom-pom maker. They are the easiest things ever to use. You just pull them apart. There's lots of um, instructions online if you don't know how to use them. Wrap your yarn around there, cut it up, and you have these perfectly shaped pom-poms. And then I just threw that up there, and then we're ready for love. I love it. I'm gonna <laughs> close up on these pom-poms so you guys can see. Because I've made my own pom-poms, um, but they never turn out this pretty. So that's a that's the help of having the clover ones. Um, as long as you don't leave them on the floor, my dog loves to chew plastic things. So <laughs> this is my second one of these because she chewed the last one. But um, yeah, so that and that's my little taste of love. Yay! Okay. For Valentine's, I keep my table really simple. Um, this place or tablecloth is just one of Reed Drummond's from Walmart. I love her. In fact, these um, place or napkins were in the puppy bandana section at Christmas time, and I knew that they would look close enough to that um, tablecloth. So, and then I just cut up a ribbon and tied it on there. It's, actually what I did. <laughs> I didn't cut it quite right. So I took one piece and tied it like that. And this piece, I cut it too short. And so I just uh, made the little V's in there and tucked this on through. So it sort of looks like a bow, but you know. And then this was my splurge. Um, I thought that the white flowers and white carnations just made a nice, simple, wintry Valentine's Day look. Yeah. 
Okay, everyone. So we already got done recording my mom's Valentine's Day decor. And we were just sitting down chilling. And she gets her little fabric out. And she's doing another thing. I am. So share yeah. with us. Um, I got in my little Valentine's Day box of crafts. And I knew that I had some. There's what's left over. What I'm not using. It. I'll pillage off of that and make new things. Anyways. So I did find this fabric. It came four pieces. And that's what I made that XO out of. And it was $3.97. Anyway, so a dollar a piece. So I decided I am going to sew these together, put a little um, pink ruffle around the edges. And anytime you have to buy yourself new pillows, never throw the old one away. Always wash that up. And then I'll just use one of my old pillows, stuff it up, and then I'll have a cute little pillow. So fun. <laughs> so there's your little bonus craft, everyone. Exactly. All right, everyone, that's all we have for you today. Um, this is the first in a series that we're going to be doing. So if you liked this video and you want to see more of my mom's awesome crafts and more of my cute mom, uh, like, <laughs> subscribe, leave us a comment. If you had some um, inspiration from this video, we'd love to hear about it. Thanks. Thanks for Happy watching. Happy Valentine's.